வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு திஸ் வீடியோ ஆன் பயோமெக்கானிக்ஸ் வி ஹவ் பின் லுக்கிங் அட் பயோமெக்கானிக்ஸ் ஆஃப் த லோவர் லிம்ப் வி லுக் அட் த ஹேப் வி லுக் அட் த நீ அண்ட் இன் த லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ வி லுக் அட் த அனாட்டமி ஆஃப் த ஆங்கிள் ஜாயிண்ட் அண்ட் த மூமெண்ட்ஸ் தட் ஆர் பாசிபிள் இன் த ஆங்கிள் ஜாயிண்ட் நவ் அ கொஸ்டின் இஸ் வாட் ஆர் த மசில்ஸ் தட் ஆர் ரெஸ்பான்சிபிள் ஆர் தட் காஸ் தீஸ் மூமெண்ட்ஸ் so in this video we will be looking at muscles of the ankle joint so just like we have the thigh muscles so when we discussed the muscles that cause flexion and extension at the knee we said that uh, that the muscles are divided into compartments remember that there is a lateral component there is a lateral muscle there is an anterior muscle and then there is a medial muscle and then there is a muscle that is deeper to the anterior muscle remember that these are the four that form the quadriceps femoris right there is a medialis vastus medialis there is a lateralis vastus lateralis then there is rectus femoris and then there is vastus intermedius which is deep to the rectus femoris we saw that likewise in the lower leg in the shin also we have several muscles some of which are deep and some of which are superficial and fascia divides these into compartments right a posterior compartment an anterior compartment and so on and so forth so remember depending on the function the location and the anatomy will vary likewise like we have seen always right so structure and function are re- related so anatomy and physiology are interlinked in this manner something that we have seen previously an important muscle that is found on the front side of the lower leg is tibialis anterior anterior means on the front side right how do you know because it has the word anterior anterior means front side tibialis anterior now this muscle originates at the lateral condyle and upper tibial shaft and inserts at the first metatarsal bone metatarsal bone means like you have carpal bones in the hand you have the tarsal bones in the foot like you have metacarpals you have metatarsals right so this is the tibialis anterior whose muscle belly is here and this is where the tendon is beginning and then the tendon is going through a relatively long you see there are some ligaments and some structures through which it travels and quite a bit of distance and then attaches at the first metatarsal first metatarsal means it is the metatarsal bone for of the big toe first means for the thumb index middle ring and so on and so forth first means uh, thumb second means index third means middle third fourth means this fifth means little and so on like you have the first metacarpal bone or this, so 1 2 3 4 5 like that for example likewise the one for the toe big toe is called as a first metatarsal okay first metatarsal means the attachment is somewhere here you see that is where the tendon is coming and attaching here right if it is attaching on the front side what do you think will be its function because if it contracts what is it going to do if this is the foot and if it is attaching at the thumb like this and it is pulling the thumb then the foot is going to go up like this which is called dorsiflexion is it not that is called dorsiflexion of the foot a dorsi flexion that happens at the ankle joint okay then you have fibularis longus okay 
this originates on the fibula. How do you know the name is saying fibularis? The previous muscle said tibialis. So, it originates at the tibia and it attaches to the first metatarsal and medial cuneiform parts. And this is responsible for plantar flexion. The most superficial muscle at the back is called gastrocnemius. Right? This gastrocnemius, its function is plantar flexion. So, when it uh, when it contracts, it has a tendency to push the toe down and lift the body up, plantar flexion. Right? It originates in the medial and lateral condyles of the femur, remember it originates at the thigh or at the lower part of the thigh and attaches at the posterior part of the calcaneus bone. Deeper to this is the soleus which is also performing a similar function which is plantar flexion. Then you have plantaris and tibialis posterior muscles which are responsible for plantar flexion. Okay. The attachment is at various different points and uh, in the, the origin is at various different points either at the femur or at the tibia and fibula and the insertion is at the calcaneus or the calcaneus tendon or several tarsals and metatarsals as the case may be. Some deep muscles that were not seen in the previous picture, so here only the superficial muscles are so shown. This is a gas medial, uh, this is the, the medial head of the gastrocnemius that is cut and shown. This is a lateral head of the, the gastrocnemius that is cut, this is posterior view of the right leg when I am looking at the right leg from the back. Okay. So, that is the, the lateral view. Right. These are the superficial muscles and then you have the plantaris which is this and then you have the soleus. You can see the soleus only if you cut the gastrocnemius. Gastrocnemius is cut at that level here, see and you can see this band like soleus okay. that is responsible for plantar flexion. Look all of this attach here so that so as to pull the heel upwards. Okay. Some deep muscles that are not shown is the soleus that is cut here for example, see the soleus or the cut part of the soleus and fibular is longest on the side and tibialis posterior these are deeper. So, in this video we saw some of the muscles that contribute to movement at the ankle joint. Specifically, we focused on plantar flexion and dorsiflexion. Tibialis anterior, for example, is the most important dorsiflexor of the ankle joint. There are many muscles that contribute to plantar flexion, such as gastrocnemius, soleus, and many others deeper muscles. Right? Some of these are superficial, some of these are deep. So, with this we come to the end of this video, thank you very much for your attention.